So it's about 2.30 a.m. right now, and I've continued to pack. I've got most of everything packed. Again, I'm trying to pack as light as possible. It's not easy um, because we're used to certain stuff. But I got my tripod in just in case I want it. I always pack my car keys. I never leave them. Um, I have my makeup with my shampoo. I have my flat iron and a pedal brush back there. And... Um, I was undecided on what shoes because I'm wearing mostly gray. These are more comfortable than the platforms, but I think I'm going to pack both and I'll decide morning of. Over here I have, you know, like my backpack and stuff. And I love my 31 bags, but if I take the tan one that you saw me maybe get the mail in, um, it'll just get dirty. Usually this bag lives on the floorboard and I love my Nike backpack. But I've got like my face mask in case I want to sleep in the car, my eye mask, not my face mask. I got sunglasses in case I have to drive. I've got a book that I'm currently reading that Kirsten sent me. I've got one of my main cameras. Um, and I have this out and not in the bag because I'm charging one of the batteries for it. And I don't want to forget the battery. So if I leave it out till morning, um, yeah, I should be okay. These are the pictures and I printed out the note and glued it on there so hopefully he will get one of these or the social worker or whatever so i got two and then i also included a copy of a picture of him and his dad look how they look so much alike it's not even funny see that so um those are ready and here i have my planner the one i'm taking and just some other stuff you know that i might want to work on not much though and um, all this stuff, including my laptop, will, um, and chargers, like phone chargers, sorry, phone chargers and such, will go in the backpack um, in the morning. So, um, you know, I don't forget anything. So, up here, let me show you. Um, on my bed, I've got my owl purse that has lots of different stuff. I'm going to do a... A purse video on this purse sometime soon so stay tuned for that but um, I got some of my camera stuff this is um, a thing for my camera that makes it like a 35 millimeter and I got my to-do list for morning um, so I don't forget things um, I got this charging and this goes in that halo wallet my mom got me but it's just a charger that will work with my phone just in case you know Scott's using the car charger or whatever I've got a charger in case I need it and what else for morning I just got my stuff out um, just the stuff I'm gonna need and um, I'll pack that also um, you know I've earned them using it in the morning I got tomorrow's blog post done, yay. It will be live on my blog in just a little bit. I also got tomorrow's video uploading. There's only 55 minutes. And before I fall asleep, I'm editing my P.O. Box video. So I'm right on track. I'm doing really good and I'm super happy that I've got most things done. So there you have it. I pretty much got as much done as possible tonight and um, it's pretty clean downstairs but Scott said he'd wash those few dishes and vacuum for me before I get up he'll be up like at six or seven and I'm pretty nervous about going tomorrow but um, I'm more nervous about court on Thursday but we'll handle it and I was gonna do my nails gosh it's making me look so red um, but I didn't feel like it so we're going with that and um, oh, I'm sleepy I need to edit that video and I've got to make a long car trip tomorrow so I think I'm ahead of the game I don't think you'll miss any videos and yeah this is the way it goes so I'm going to edit and get some sleep I'll see you guys in the morning good night Good morning everybody we are in the car and we're still sitting in the driveway but we're getting ready to leave and head to Louisiana Scott's putting everything in the GPS and um, Jackson's in the back seat and we are off we got a long long car ride and um, 
We're just wanting to get there safe, so we're not going to go too fast. And we got enough time as long as we're there by tomorrow morning, right? Mm -hmm. All right. Away we go. Good night, man. hotel's right over there and it took a minute to find it but we got here and we're happy to all be getting out of the car so there's our hotel so they're nice they gave us got a beer and only one per guest i guess it's, no. But Scott was well, like, you could have gotten one. It's over at 7.30, which is in uh, two minutes. <laughs> and I, don't, I was like, I don't drink. And he was like, duh. Dummy. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so Hi. That's I got a Mountain Dew. I said, I love you. So I, I love like you, that. Jackson. Thank you. That's just hi. Hi. Hi, it's kind of plain. All right. So we are ready. Ready to be out of that car, aren't we? Right. Vamanos. So the room is very, no, you don't. It turns around. The room is very simple, but we got like a full kitchen, which would be nice if we were staying any amount of time. But I wanted um, a place where Jackson could sleep, and so, and a place he could eat breakfast. And it's simple, but it's nice. Yay! And it's got the vanity out here, so that makes it easier for us to get ready for court in the morning. Don't have your dirty shoes. Okay, he don't have shoes. Um, yeah, we're at relatively nice. And I like the vanity. You like the vanity out here? So, we are going to relax. And Jackson's on that couch tonight. Not Scott. Scott, we're putting American Idol on, dude. Don't even get happy with the remote. I can't sit down? No. We're sitting down over there. This is Jackson's area. Our area is that way. So, we're going to, like, all rest.
So while Scott's in the shower, I went ahead, as you saw, and ironed my clothes. He was going to do it for me, but they really weren't that wrinkled. I just needed to kind of quickly take the iron over them and get off any of the cat hair. You guys know that we have, like, Animal Kingdom up in our house, so um, cat hair was the biggest thing I had to worry about. But it's going to be, like, 40 degrees tomorrow, maybe 45 when we leave in the morning to go to court so I thought this would be fine and hopefully I can get away without wearing a jacket because jackets are always see look cat hair see it um, <laughs> the, um I don't like wearing big bulky jackets so um even though um it's might gonna be a little cool I think I'll be fine and that way I don't have to worry about carrying a big um you know big coat in with me so I'm gonna in just a minute switch out my purses and I think Scott's going to come out and iron. We just want to get everything done so it's easy in the morning. All right, and there are the shoes. I think I'm just going with, you know, my little gray ones because um, they're more comfortable than the platforms. It's going to be early in the morning. I'm not going to want to look like, you know, a stripper walking into the courthouse or nothing. So I'm going with those, and now I'm switching over to this purse. So I switched out of my adorable little owl purse, and I'm into a more color-appropriate purse for court. Um, I could have just took this in, and I know, you guys, we could go in in our blue jeans and my sweats if I wanted, but we don't really, you know, no, we don't really do that. We try to dress appropriately for court, um, and um, I just thought with, you know, the gray pants, the gray shoes, and the gray shirt, it would almost be silly for me to um, carry like a brown and tan owl purse. So this one's more appropriate. I even have, I have everything in it that was in my owl purse. And I have a book in here that I'm currently reading. I, you know, court can sometimes be short or long. I don't know if I'll really read a book. I'll probably look at my phone or something instead. And I got the pictures for Zane in here too. So, you know, if I leave myself up till morning to do this, I will forget you know a ton of stuff you guys know I'm not a morning person at all and um, I want to get as much done tonight as I can so I have a video uploading right now and I'm, I'm trying to use an external mouse with the wrong hand so it feels really weird there we go what happened here there we go and we're at 18 we're at 18% and we got 861 minutes so let's hear it for hotel internet maybe by the time we get back from court tomorrow if the internet doesn't shut off numerous times on its own um we will have a video up let's hope i want to stay on schedule and i really hope that this goes through so i just got out of the shower and i'm gonna fix some tea and there it is and i need the sugar. I guess I didn't need the spoons because they do have spoons. They do a little stove. This is rather a cute little place. I mean, the light's kind of off in here. Let's see. There we go. Um, the lights. And, um, you know, it'd be perfect for any vacation with kids. Um, I'm just having some of the Mighty Leaf um, um, Spring Dragon. Jackson and I both love the fogged out um, cabinets. Like it a lot. Let's see, they got plenty of stuff in here. So I'm about to take pleasure in using that microwave and making some tea.
Scott got the pants ironed. He's a good ironer, you guys. Better than me. So when I logged on to my Facebook fan page tonight, I see I got 10 new friends. So thank you if you're um, new to my blog or my Facebook fan page or my YouTube channel. Thank you so much. I hope I can talk to some of you guys um, on here whenever um, I put blog posts up and such. So I am going to wrap up this vlog for this part right now. The boys are in there kind of doing their thing. Scott just got done ironing. And I actually ran the flat iron through my hair some to make it easier, you know, bright and early in the morning. And um, it's about 1140 right now. So I have to get ready, get Jackson laid down and get the lights off and Get some Tylenol PM in me. I've had a headache all day long and it just hurts. And right now I think we're about at 30% on that video. So it is slowly uploading. <clears throat> but Scott is finishing actually ironing. He's ironing a tie right now. And we're going to get up super early. I think we got a, what, a 6.15 wake up? Yeah. Yeah, yuck. And, um... I guess we'll leave here probably about 7.45, I'm guessing, but I have to still Google the courthouse, find out how far that is so we, you know, have plenty of time, and um, try to get some rest because it's going to be a long way back home tomorrow, and Scott's been the one mainly driving, the only one driving. Maybe. Well, I offered. He told me I was going to drive, and then we go in and we eat, and he's like, I can do it. I feel better, so I was going to drive, but... I thought about you driving and scared me away is what happened. Oh, he's so mean. That's not true. <laughs> and I bet I, I don't know. I don't know if I'll drive tomorrow or not. He, um, if it's during the daytime, he's pretty good about it, but he gets sleepy still sometimes. So who knows? 700 miles. 700. Do you hear that? I like it's just around the corner. <laughs> no. So thank you guys for all your love and concern and support and prayers. We don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. Um, but we're going to go, and we are going to just be there and um, show Zane that we're there and hopefully see him. Can't guarantee we'll talk to him. I don't even know if he'll get the pictures, but they're ready, and um, I'll let you guys kind of know what's going on after court, and um, I seriously doubt I can film in the courthouse. I have before, but it's not necessarily something I really enjoy doing. The bailiffs don't like it. Huh? So they probably front out. Front yeah, out, the bailiffs don't like it. Yeah, but I've done it. Um, and, um, yeah, so whatever is meant to be tomorrow will be, and we are um, going to show up and. Leave it in God's hands. Yeah, leave it in God's hands. I don't know if you can hear him. He's right there. And um, just, just handle it. This is a pretty nice little room, you guys. We're pretty happy with it. It seems to work. And um, the other option that I wanted was the Four Seasons. And tell him how much that was. Just 800 bucks a night. Yeah, he wasn't going to have that. So um, this was the like the next best. I mean, it's it's, a, it's basically the same as a Hampton, um, except bigger, at it's least to me. Hampton. It's a Marriott. So is it a Hampton? It's a Marriott, sweetheart. Well, it's kind of like a Hampton because it, it just reminds me of a Hampton in this part, in the bed part. And um, in there, there's a whole little living room, and you can see it. This is like my view, and windows, and um, the TV swivels, but Jackson's over behind the suitcase. You can only see his legs, look. See his legs? They're twitching. He's got earphones in, and he's in a crash on the couch. It opens. <laughs> he can hear us. It opens into a bed, so... Um, Hi. So he's going to sleep there, but he's not going to open it up. But anyway, we hope that you guys enjoyed this little bit of a travel vlog, and we will see you tomorrow. So good night, and um, thanks so much for watching. And um, I'll just feed in tomorrow's footage right into this. So just keep watching, and before you know it, we will be into Thursday morning. Sweet dreams. Good morning, everybody. Sky grabbed me some eggs, got the news on, got some coffee, and I just got done doing a blog post for um, 
my thankful Thursday and we are getting ready to leave in just a minute we um, are dressed and cleaned up there's Mr. Jaggers right there and say good morning and we will be taking off in like 10 minutes I'm going with the black today just because I thought it was too much gray um, with uh, the outfit, but here I go, cord attire. Got to get best friend's bracelet. So I'm gonna do that, and it's right over here, somewhere. All right, so this kind of keeps her with me, and um, there we go. So we are off. <laughs> My hair is about as flat as it's gonna get today, and away we go. So we're a little bit lost, but we're trying to figure our way around. And Scott found an inmate buzz. He said, we need to follow the inmate buzz. And hell we do. We don't need to follow there's anything to do. Yeah, there's a courthouse right here. See, right in front of us. Okay, there we go. He knew yeah. where he was going. <laughs> we were down here. We were close to this. We're going off by block. I hate this place, you guys. I'm sorry if you live in Louisiana. <clears throat> I am just not a fan of your state. I never have been. Long before Scott came in my life, my mom and... Uh, my sister and I and we all came down here for for big cruise and I just thought it was like so dirty and I hated jambalaya I don't like spicy food and and um, I certainly don't go to court you guys it's something that um, I never do I usually am a no-show I'm a failure to a beer um, I get panic attacks but here we are and we're gonna do it hey everybody we've been in court and um, I came outside for just a minute with somebody else and to go back in I had to put my purse and I found this camera so they're like you got to take your camera outside but I got in with it the first time it's not like I'm filming in there but I have to take this out to the car um, and then I'll kind of update you but I have to be careful because they told us that we're not allowed to talk a lot about Zane anymore on social media because you know it's private but I will update you guys one final time and tell you a few things and yeah okay so here we are gotta put the camera up hey everybody so we are in the car scott just dropped his phone there he is it kind of went behind the seat so um right now it is 12. we've been in there for basically four hours and um not much happened they um we all went into the court hearing scott there's a car turning well, he'll have to wait. Um, they all, um, we all went in for the hearing. I was allowed in. And Shannon um, um, wanted everybody to be drug tested. So that happened. And Scott did his. And, um, and all the other dads. And, you know, we talked to Zane. And I'm not allowed to say a whole lot. So this will probably be the last time I really do talk about it. Because they told me that... You know, being he's in the system, his privacy needs to be respected, and I'm not supposed to talk about it any longer. So I wanted to update you guys because so many of you guys have been, like, worrying for us and praying for us and praying for him that I do think I should at least tell you that it went okay today. Nothing extraordinary happened, did it? No. Um, but we are coming back, I guess, next month. Yep. And... Um, we met a ton of nice people though, like all the other fathers, their, their families, um, besides the kids, um, were really nice and I made some new YouTube friends and, um, I was really happy to see Zane and so were you, weren't you? Yes, it was. I mean, he came and gave his dad a hug, um, the very minute, um, he saw him. So that was really, really, really nice. So now we're heading back to the hotel. I need to change my clothes, and so does Scott, and something a little more comfy. Road trip attire. And um, pick up Jackson, and we are heading home. And we won't be home for many, many hours. Many. But that's our update, and again, thank you, you guys. Okay, so we are back at the hotel. And um, Scott's not changing, but I did. I changed into sweats and a t-shirt and there's Mr. Jackson and we are out of here. We are hitting the road. We're gonna get a bite to eat in just a few minutes and um, drive our long, happy way home. It's fun for me. <laughs> I don't have school. Not fun for the ride though. 
Yeah, you get the food bag, Mr. Jackson, and you get your bag. Scott gets the big bag. Yes, ma'am. And we're ready to go. I got all my jewelry. Seth's got all his stuff. I'll take that. Good one. Our little hotel room did as well. We are out of here. This little room did us good. And I like the kitchen. Let's go. Huh? Some foggy cabinets, maybe one day. I don't know. Nikes feel a lot better than those damn pillows, you guys. Look, we ran into him. Got our pillows, because you know I'm sleeping for a little while. You gonna sleep? Yeah. Oh, crap. I have to put this back though. No, there's a little oh. hole right here. Yeah. So you can just have. Yeah, we're ready. Turn him. Turn him. Just trying to help him. Come to it. Let's see if they can race through it. Scott is like the, the seamstress in the family. It's really true. What's the seamstress? The sewing person. Oh. I can't even fix a zipper. But no, she can. you can, can't you? No. I can't. I think the military taught you that stuff. No. Who did? Your mom? I don't know. Just one day I woke up and I do everything. You did? Oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> That's too funny. Okay. All right. Away we go. So, the weather here hasn't been that bad. It was, like, it wasn't so cold today that we were freezing going to the car. But it was cold once we got inside the car. That's Get our nice pillows. Bike. We're going to want our pillows. Bike over there. I see. I don't care about the bike. It's a motorcycle wave. And um, um, it started raining as soon as we got out of the courthouse. But now it's not raining. It's kind of overcast. So away we go. Hmm. Scott's trying to get everything into the navigation. And I had to get my seatbelt on. Uh, Bye, hotel. I'll see you again, probably. And, um, no, I'm not, like I said, supposed to say a whole lot. But, uh, um, a couple things. I am, um, really happy that we got to see him today and talk to him and know that he is okay. So, I'm very, very happy about that. Um, we have to come back down here next month for another hearing and I think we're still going to do the home study even though I told you guys we're probably not because it was pointless with him not wanting to be here but um, if his fleet would <laughs> let's do that and um, um, I'm just happy that um, you know we made it down here safely let's you know pray that we make it home safely and um, with this man behind the wheel, we will. Do you hear that? Um, and I'm just um, happy we got to see him, and we will be coming back. So we'll be back here in approximately one month. But I'm not supposed to really like talk a lot about it anymore, so I'm not going to. I might tell you guys we're coming down here, and you'll know what it's for. But um, I don't want to like mess anything up. I still don't think it matters because when I seen Zane with his mom who was there, he like lit up. And so, Enough. you know, yeah, I got to be quiet. Mm -hmm. um, it's hard. But we are making our way home as soon as Scott figures something out to put in the GPS. And um, we're making our way to get some food because I'm hungry. And I think we're just going to eat in the car because right now we're not even due to be home till what time? Um, we're waiting on to calculate it. Um, I, think, I think it's going to be like 11.30. I'm guessing p.m. And right now it is 1 p.m. Eastern Time. 12 p.m. What, what is this time? 641 miles, 9 hours, 27 minutes. 9 now. hours. I'm at 10.30. 10.30. Well, that's a little earlier than what I thought. But, but yeah, so 
everything went well today, and I'm very thankful that you guys um, sent your prayers and love. Maybe those prayers helped today to be able to talk to him, because um, we didn't think we would. So, zip. Anyway, we're heading home and um, saying goodbye to Louisiana. God, I promise you. He's been driving all night. He hasn't. So. Mom the wheel for a couple of days. No, because he's drove during the day, time. But we're home, so. Oh, I'm so ready to get out of the car. Yay, we're home. Yay, yay, yay. I'm ready. So, even though we just got home, we. Went through the mail pretty quick, and um, we picked up most of the dog food and stuff. We got everything already upstairs, and we are going upstairs tonight. There's really no reason to head to be down here at 10:15. Um, most of the time, I'm upstairs at this time anyway. So um, I'm going to grab a cup, have some of that Mountain Dew, and I'm going to use one of these just because I see it and I'm being lazy. And um, just kind of like unpack my backpack and I don't, I'm not even going to do laundry tonight. I'm skipping laundry and I will just, um, um, do some laundry tomorrow. But Jackson's got to get up for school because he is going to school and it's only 10 15. I mean, he should have been in bed like an hour ago, but. I'm making him go tired because we are going back down there um, next month. And if we don't find a babysitter that can stay here and watch him, he's got to go. And so I don't want him, him to miss any more school than, you know, absolutely necessary. There I go. Scott's eyes have been dry, so he had some visine, some chips, candy. All right. My little homekeeping book worked good. And... I think Scott already got the suitcase. I guess he did. And look, I'm going to show you this black fish again. So, the more I look at him, the less I think it's ick. I really don't think it is. He's just got a few little white spots. See? And come down here. See that? Hold on. I'm, I'm going to treat it, but I don't think it's ick. I, I really don't because it's not like bubbly white. It's just... Come here. Let me see if I can put him. Scott thinks he's just getting old and losing his color, but... No, that's not President Obama, is it? I thought President Obama died. Three years ago? I beat him here. See? See? There's a really good shot. He's just... Got a few little white spots. I'm trying to beat him getting up here see but he looks like he's in great shape I'm gonna treat it for egg I'll probably have to go buy some stuff um, tomorrow but I don't think it's egg none of the other fish look sick they look healthy and see he's just 
white on the head. See that? We love our fish like we love our dog. Can you hear that upstairs? Oh, let's go check out what these two bozos are up to. Hi. Hi, Gabby. Gabby, come on. Hi. They're my big boy. I know it's hard to see. And there's Wilbo. Come on. Let's go. There's our suitcase. There's cupcake. And I bet when I walk in here, there's Cooper and Scott. How'd you miss us? Had you missed us? Two days is too long ago without You missed us. Ball. You look so cute with that ball, Cooper. You are cute. Say, two days is too long ago without that ball. I tried. I'm not too good at throwing the ball. There you go. There you go. There you go. Can you tell everybody good night? He drove a long, long way. How many young miles? Uh, about 1,400. Yeah. Two days worth. So he is doing his thing, and I'm going to go do mine. Hey, everybody. So we are home, and everything looked great. The house sitter did a great job. She always does. The animals look great. We did not hang around downstairs. We were all in our bedrooms. Right now, it is 1039, so super happy to be home. And like I said, I can't really talk any longer about our son um, because you know his privacy and all this of being a foster child and I get that um, so I might not be updating you guys a lot I think it's kind of silly actually because he is actually our son it's not like it's some random you know child that I'm talking about it's actually our son but um, he was in good shape today and um, Scott was so happy to see him as was I, and um, nothing really happened in court, except all the dads got drug tested. I think she didn't, and I don't know how she did not, but I don't know. Maybe she did. I could be wrong. And um, another court date was given, and um, we'll definitely probably be going back down there for that. I think it's middle of next month. And I had such a headache in the car that I slept a lot. I took some aspirin and I fell asleep that I didn't get back to answering all the Instagram comments and concerns. And you guys have been amazing. Your comments on there, I did read them, but that phone, like the brightness was hurting my eyes, making my head hurt worse. So my thought of answering comments in the car just didn't happen. And um, I will try to get back to some of those tomorrow. But you guys have been so kind to us and so uplifting. And I really think it's because of your prayers that we actually got to see him and talk to him today. So thank you. You'll never know really what your prayers and thoughts meant to us. And um, besides me just saying it on a video, but from the deepest part of my heart, I'm grateful and thankful for that. So thankful for you guys. And um I'm also thankful to be home. I got the new rain loaded up on the DVR. I'm getting ready to watch that. I'm going to edit some of this footage and just kind of relax here at home. So I'm thankful that we're here and I'm thankful that we made it there and back safely. Thanks to Scott driving really good. He made me nervous a few times, but more times than not, he drives really good. So yeah, lots to do. I'm pretty tired and... I will see you guys tomorrow, so thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Um, I'll have another one up, I'm guessing, on Monday. I could have one up on Sunday, but probably Monday. And I'll have some, I don't know if you can hear my husband sneezing, but he loud, he's loud. Um, I'll have a little other vlog up in a couple days and some other videos in between, so... I will see you guys soon, and um, again, thank you guys for your love, support, and concern. It's been amazing, so I'm home, and I'm happy to be here, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye!